everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're getting into another episode of The Last of Us. We're on episode three. It's called Long Long Time. And yeah, the last episode was crazy, right? Like uh Tess got taken out. Like I knew she was gonna be taken out or they were gonna be separated or something, right? But not like that. Holy fuck, she went out. She took a whole bunch of them with her. Holy crap, did she ever. And yeah, she told she told Joel to take Ellie to to Bill and Frank's place, that they'll help. Who are Bill and Frank? But they obviously have a history with them. Joel said they wouldn't take them. She said they would. So I'm not sure. What are their reactions going to be like? Is Joel even going to tell them about Ellie? Like that she can't be infected? You know, or that she, she's been like multiply bit, but hasn't turned type thing. Like hasn't become infected. I don't, I, will they like, I'd be scared to tell anybody that. As soon as anybody hears, like, oh, she's been bit, like, they probably just want to kill her right away, but... <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to expect from this. This whole thing has just been... a crazy ride already, and it's only two episodes in. Let's just get into it, though, huh? At the end, oh, you know the deal. Uh, if you like it, make sure to give me a thumbs up, and to make sure you don't miss any, be sure to subscribe. All right, let's do this. Isn't there usually like a bit before the the theme or whatever? Pretty sure there was in the first two. Oof, yeah. Forgot about his hand. Ah. Oh. I wonder if there's a reason for why he's doing that. Oh, they made 10 miles already. How much further is Bill and Frank's? How are these two getting along? <laughs> you want your jacket back? Only well, we been in the woods. Oh, I guess not. More bucks than I thought. Yeah, there's always more bugs. Look, I've been thinking about. I want your sorry. I wasn't gonna say I'm sorry. Nobody made you or test take me. Nobody made you go along with this plan. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. She's got a point there. She does. Okay, he gets that. How much longer? Five-hour hike. Okay. That's not bad. We haven't seen anybody, like actual humans, out in the actual world. What are you looking out for? People. Oh. Yeah. Are Bill and Frank nice? Frank is. <laughs> How'd you get that scar on your head? What? Is it something lame? Like you fell down the stairs or something? Someone shot at me and missed. See, that's cool. You got grazed. You get him? No, I missed too. It happens more often than you think. Because you suck at shooting or like in general? <laughs> in general. You know, seeing as it's just the two of us, I was thinking I should no. <laughs> She's always trying to get a gun. <laughs> Gotta grab some stuff I stashed. Why do you have stuff stashed here? You asked a lot of goddamn questions. Yes, <laughs> I do. She's a child. No way. You ever play this one? Oh my god, Mortal Kombat? There's this one character named Melina who takes off her mask and she has monster teeth and then she swallows you whole and barks out your bones. Ugh. Is there? I've never really played Mortal Kombat. Is there anything bad in here? Just you. Ah. Huh. Funny. Are you sure? Like, shouldn't you clear every building every time you go in? What's she gonna find here? A hatch. Is there something? Is there an infected down there? Something's gonna pop up out of there. Don't go down there! 
Are you crazy? You're fucking nuts. Yep. Ah, I thought I knew it. I knew it. Fuck. Okay, at least you can't come get you. Why did that get me? Why are you even getting close to it? Oh. You know, like, put it out of its misery type thing? Why do you have that, like, look on your face, though? Ew. Why? Why didn't you just do that to begin with? What are you doing? Not much ammo out there for this thing. Oh, if you're just gonna leave it there. He'll come back. No. <laughs> She's like, just give it to me. <laughs> she wants a gun even if it has no ammo. <laughs> Holy shit. What? Oh, whoa. You flying one of those? Sure. So lucky. Didn't feel like it at the time. Yeah. The middle C paid 12 bucks for a sandwich. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. It's a fair point. You don't think about it like that. How did it even start? If you have to get bit to be infected, then who bit the first person? I thought you went to school. Fedra school? You know, it teaches how their shitty government failed to prevent a pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Some of it got into the food supply. Probably a basic ingredient like flour or sugar. There were certain brands of food that were sold everywhere. Bread, cereal, pancake mix. And you guys didn't have pancakes. Uh, someone mentioned in the comments about how they didn't eat anything with flour in the first episode. And I didn't put that together until they said it, but fuck. They started to get sick. Then they started biting. Mm-hmm. Friday night, September 26, 2003. He remembers it. By Monday, everything was gone. Everything fell that fast. It makes more wow. sense to monkeys. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Sure. Okay, you're starting to soften up a bit, I think. What? Huh? Cut across the woods here. Isn't the road easier? There's stuff up there you shouldn't see. Like what? Can it hurt me? No. Uh, is it gonna be horrific then? Whatever it was, I think it's gone. Mass grave. Okay. I told you you were going to a QZ, and you were. If there was room. If there wasn't. That's insane! That's bullshit. I killed him. Yeah. People can't be infected. It's a shitty way of looking at things. Children too. Motherfuckers. That's her. Damn it. That whole truckload is, isn't going to make it, is it? Is this Bill and Frank? They were... Preppers? Huh! So he's below the basement. I know that voice! Oh. You're going to your death. That's a lot of guns. Lots and lots of guns and... Yeah, everything you're gonna need probably, right? Oh. Holy shit, dude. Got the whole place to yourself now. I'd start hitting all the houses, getting supplies. I thought it was his voice. 
Yeah, look, he's happy. <laughs> Is he doing what I said? Is he hitting all the houses? Yeah, no one's coming. See, this guy's so smart. He's just getting loading up. He's loading up supplies. Air filters. This guy's a genius. Do you have a plan to get the power turned back on? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. Wine. <laughs> And you turn the natural gas on? Ha <laughs> ha! Holy fuck! Oh, he's already got an industrial generator. And he already went and got a whole bunch of gas. Oh my gosh! This guy's a fucking genius. He's got the whole area to himself. This is awesome. Building up defenses and everything. Holy fuck. He knew exactly what to do. Holy shit. Dude, it's eating well too. Holy crap. I'm sure it tastes good. What is that? Oh, movement. Keep coming. Oh, it's an infected. <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Awesome booby traps, man. Holy fuck. Did he put up this fence? Yeah, he had to have. Holy fuck. What are you doing with the grinder? Movement again? Oh. Did someone fall in the hole? It's got a pretty good fortress going on here. I'm not infected. When's it? It's been like over four years since you've talked to somebody. I, I'm just trying to get to Boston. Did it hurt? It's just, just a bruise. How do you decide if you trust him or not? You look familiar, but I don't know from where. <laughs> Guns on him. Stop there. Oh, he's got a tester. Okay. He's got to be sure. Boston is that way. <laughs> you can make it by nightfall. I'm really hungry. I'm letting you go, so go. All right. First, my name's Frank. Oh, yeah? Okay, you're Frank. He's Bill. Every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. Yeah. I won't talk about it to any... Bums or hobos or vagabonds, I promise. <laughs> vagabonds. <laughs> you have been alone for a long time. Even giving him clothes. I guess you have running water? Yeah. Look at, look at how this guy's living. He, he's just living like a king during this whole... Does that like... You know, like... Holy fuck. You're not gonna want to leave, are you? <laughs> he's, just, he's not used to having people around. <laughs> Why are you touching my stuff? Type of look. <laughs> How is this guy like good at everything? Actually, when's the last time you had like a cooked meal? A man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. I know, I don't seem like the type. Definitely not. It's got to be heaven compared to out there. 
Thank you. Probably hasn't had anybody be kind to him cool. in forever. So I guess I'll be going then. How's he gonna end up staying? But first... I've been staring at this the whole time. Oh, he wants to play the piano. Uh, not... This is you. Oh my god. Linda Ronstadt? <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not Why? a professional. Well, neither am I. But... Oh, you play. And then I'll leave. Why is he weird about the piano? Or is he just weird in general because he hasn't been around people for four years? <laughs> Love will abide. Take things in stride. Sounds like good advice. It's pretty damn good for not being a professional. For a long, long time. I felt that. So, who's the girl? Yeah. <laughs> yes. There is no girl. Was there a guy? Taking a big swing here. Okay. What's your name? Bill. So that's how they became Bill and Frank. Okay. The chances of you two finding each other in this world is like insane. Oh, fuck you! Come on! <laughs> Three years. You live in a psycho bunker where 9 11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis! Well, you're not now, <laughs> but not then. Oh my god. <laughs> I am asking for some paint and some gasoline for the lawnmower. That's all. Oh, he just wants... Wait, wait, man. Did you say resource management? So help me, I will run through one of your tripwires. He just wants to, like, have the neighborhood looking nice. And I'm fixing up some of the shops. Whoa. Not the stupid ones, just the, the wine shop and the furniture store. And the clothing boutique. Are, are we hosting formal garden parties now? No. <laughs> but we are going to have friends. Excuse me? <laughs> He's not going to let people in. We will never have friends because there are no friends to be had. I've actually well, you'll be friends with the uh, Joel and Tess. You what? Well, this really is just pretty for me. Right? Oh, the, <laughs> he already invited them. <laughs> he just got a gun ready. <laughs> I'm the same way. Oh, you're a paranoid schizophrenic too? I'm not schizophrenic. Just paranoid. Well, can I just say, <laughs> I'm gonna side, which I get, by the way. I want to thank you, even if we don't end up working together. We are working together. You know what? Tess, I want to show you something. Excellent. No. I have been wanting to see it. Not inside. Thank you. Yes. Frank. <laughs> Frank. Songs. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Bill. Everyone's violating his space. <laughs> He's totally not used to this. There's stuff we have in the QZ that you don't have here. We can help each other and get that gun out of my face. Oh, we could trade and stuff. We could work together. We could at least holster it. We're self-sufficient here. Yeah, he has been for a long time. That fence has got a year on it. Tops already started to corrode. I can get you ten spools of high tensile aluminum. He is a builder. He knows his stuff. I have this idea. For the radio, in case anyone's listening. Oh, that's a good idea. That's worth what? Yeah. They're the ones who came up with the the decade code. Holy shit! Sooner or later, there will be raiders. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. Yeah, we haven't seen raiders yet. We've only seen people in the QZ and the infected. 
Is that why they sent out the 80s in the first episode? Were they getting raided by raiders? Okay. To replace the fence with cars? Oh, here come the raiders! Oh, fuck! You guys really don't know what you're getting yourselves into here. Oh, you tripped. Oh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy fuck! Is he already out there? He wasn't in bed. Where the fuck is Bill? I could see him out there just like murdering everybody that's out there. I don't think you should go outside, dude. Okay, there's Bill. Just standing in the middle of the street. Bill! Get inside! Oh, he's hit! I gotcha. I got you. His defenses are really good. Holy shit. Frank! I'm right here. Frank! I'm right here. Leave the gas on. The fence. The fence will kill the rest of them. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Cold. He doesn't think he's going to make it. Cold. Is that the 80s song that they sent out? What? He went that fast? Oh, shit. Did he really just die? Bell. Mm. Okay. Okay. Holy fuck. Oh, God, I thought he died there. Holy shit. Ten years later? So he- I guess he, they didn't have to deal with raiders after that? Okay. They tried the one time and realized, no, we can't get through. They're really old now. Did he have a stroke or something? What's going on? What's going on with, with Ted or Frank? It's not doing well. What are you doing over there, Frank? Took most of the night. <laughs> I'm exhausted. Just to get into your wheelchair? No. I'm not fighting about it. Back in I bed. I promise you I'm going to stay up. Why? Because this is my last day. What? You can't do that to him. What the fuck? What, what if someone shows up who can help? Who's coming, Bill? The door to door. The, the chances of that? Oh. There wasn't anything to cure this before the world fell apart. I've made up my mind. What is it even? Is it a stroke? Bill. It was devastated. gonna give you the, every day was a wonderful gift from God's speech I've had a lot of bad days but I've had more good days with you than with anyone else just give me one more good day starting now make me some toast <laughs> <laughs> then you'll wear what I ask we'll get married oh just dinner. Then you will crush all of these up, put them in my wine, and I will fall asleep in your arms.
It's a wonder way, wonderful way for you to go, but... Devastating for him. Look at him. Uh, I can't. I can't. Yeah, how do you expect him to do that? Do you love me? Oh. Yes. Then love me the way I want you to. Fuck, you can't say no to that. Son of a bitch. The hole where they first met. Getting married at the piano where uh, they fell in love, I'm guessing. Is that where they fell in love? Yeah. This music is getting me. Holy fuck. It's this, this is the first meal they had together. Same wine too, fuck. Shit. Or is this gonna be the wine that's got it in it? That sucks. But I get it. That's it. It's done. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. You were my purpose. Can I go out together? I do not support this. Yeah. I should be furious. I, I get it though. How can he go on without you? From an objective point of view, it's incredibly romantic. I can't believe they're both going out here. Fuck! And Joel and Ellie are gonna come and find them done, gone. Is that seriously the end of Bill and Frank? Until Joel and Ellie come and find them now? Fuck! Yeah, the flowers are dead. He knows something's up. <sighs> it's been a while. Why? Bill? Frank. It's from Bill. What does it say? To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> Came with this. He's just truck. I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. <laughs> 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 The bunker code is the same as the gate code, but in reverse. Anyway, I never liked you, but still. <laughs> I used to hate the world, and I was happy when everyone died. He kind of was. Was one person worth saving. That's what I did. I saved him, protected him. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. 
and God help any motherfuckers who stand in our way. Okay, so this letter is gonna. He's all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep. Tips. He was talking about Tess, but it's going to be Ellie instead. You got a ride now, too. Show me your arm. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble, and I'm heading out there to find him. He used to be a firefly. And my guess is he knows where some of them are out there. Maybe they can get you to wherever this lab is. All right. Okay. If I'm taking you with me, there's some rules you got to follow. Rule no talking about tests. Test, ever. Matter of yeah. fact, we can just keep our histories to ourselves. Rule two, you don't tell anyone about your condition. Yeah, it's safer that, that, that way. They won't think it through. They'll just shoot you. Yeah. Rule three. You do what I say when I say it. We clear? Yes. She's a teenage girl, though. That's not going to apply. So what now? We grab what we can. Load up. Check out the bunker. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. This guy was a genius. <laughs> Why is the music on? If you didn't reset the countdown every few weeks, this playlist would run over the radio. Oh. That's how the 80s song came on. Okay. Dude. No. <laughs> Even with all those guns, you still can't have one. <laughs> Why does he refuse to give her a gun? That'll come in real handy. They have hot water. I'm taking a shower. Yeah, you really should while you can. Shower, some clothes. Is she gonna find a gun? Yeah. It might come in handy. Well, don't you look pretty? <laughs> I think uh, traveling in a truck might be dangerous. Like, it'll be quicker, but wouldn't you be targeted by raiders as soon as they see you? Even just for having a battery. It's your first time in a car. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> Seatbelt. She doesn't know what that is. Seatbelt. Straps you into the chair. It's so cool. <laughs> <It's> so cool. <laughs> Why are you checking? Why are you looking at your rearview mirror? Like, no one's going to be behind you. Got some tunes? Put it back. Ellie. Already not listening. They love her in this show, eh? Better than nothing. At least they have like a, a home base they could come back to now, right? Like that'll be well, well protected, hopefully, if they ever come back. Oh. Crap, that was good. Holy fuck. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was such a good episode. Holy crap. Barely any of Joel and Ellie, though. Like, it was mostly just the story of Bill and Frank, and... I thought that was a beautiful story. Holy crap. I can see why someone in the comments said that... They think this was the best episode. And they think it'll win awards and all that type of stuff. Fuck. One was a hard-nosed prepper who actually seemed to be really thriving when everybody died, right? Like he was happy and thriving and, but then I guess over the years he got lonely. 
And yeah, someone fell in his hole and warmed his heart. Holy fuck. Did he have a stroke though? Like what happened to him? Was it a stroke? It seemed like a stroke. I don't know what else puts you like that. Fuck, that was sad. That was a sad ending. I had a feeling he was going to go out with them too. I really did. I thought they were, it was in the wine when they were eating dinner. Like I thought it was in that wine, but it was a special wine afterwards. And when he brought out the two cups with the one bottle, I, I had a feeling that he was going to do it with him. But then when he poured it all into, into the one glass, I totally didn't think that he had, there were some in the bottle as well. <sighs> I, I get it though. I get it. He couldn't, he couldn't go on without him, right? Like that long together, just the two of you, only interaction with Joel and Tess. Yeah, he was your world. You were each other's world. <laughs> Fuck. How, he's, they're going to Wyoming now though? Like seriously? Oh, the plans just keep on changing. What's gonna happen when they find Joel's brother? Are they even going to find Joel's brother? Like, fuck. Are they going to find him out in Wyoming? They, he just knows he's out in Wyoming and he's in trouble. Like, how are you going to find someone in Wyoming? Wyoming's pretty big, isn't it? It's, uh... And, yeah, it's pretty far from Boston, too, isn't it? I'm not exactly sure with my U.S. geography, but I'm pretty sure that's it's pretty far from each other. They're going to encounter... They've got to encounter raiders or something. Like, we saw just a quick glimpse of raiders trying to attack their, their little, like compound that they had there but that's it then we've got to see more of them there's got to be gangs of them in between boston and wyoming right fuck i guess i'll just have to wait to find out uh if you like this one though make sure to give me a thumbs up and yeah to check out the next one or my other videos uh be sure to subscribe thanks for coming out everyone have a great day